It's Bourbon Night. Hello! I'm Chad. I'm Sarah. And Sarah, we have something here that we've been waiting to open for a long time. What is it? This is Michter's 10 Year Rye. <sighs> Michter's 10 Year Rye. Now, this was a gift. This was a special gift. We actually got this from our friends at the Lexington Bourbon Society, like who as a community kind of went in together and got this for us for our engagement party. Yes. Man, you can't find a better group of people I know. than bourbon lovers, The LBS, right? the Lexington Bourbon Society, been a member for over five years. You You've been a member almost since as long. 2014 or 2015. Oh yeah, you're right. Yeah, me too. Since um, probably 2016, mm -hmm. I've been a member, I think. Just a great group of people. And, and if any of you are watching who was a part of giving us this bottle, thank you very much. We love you. Uh, this is around a $160 retail So we bottle. really love you. Uh, <laughs> and I'm not even sure if, if they were able to get this at retail even because it is limited. Clap, clap, clap. Bunch of sweethearts. But this is, as we said, the 10 year old, well, screw this bottle. It doesn't want to open up. Oh no. It's a 10 year old rye. Oh no. Single barrel. It's really in there, you guys. Yeah. Oh. Ah, here we go. Oh, look at everybody. Put on your protective eyewear. Pause for cork pop if I can get it off. No! It's okay. I can do no. it. I can do it. I can fix it. Shh. It's okay. <laughs> okay, so I have an idea. Maybe this is not the right idea, but this is my only idea, so I'm gonna take a wine key. The threat here is that I just push it down in the bottle, which could... Don't do that. Well, there's nothing I can do. If that happens, we will have to transfer this to a new bottle and sieve the cork pieces out. Yeah. So. And there it goes. Oh, Let this be no. a lesson. What a tragedy. <laughs> and there we it is. We got engaged in 20, December of 2018. So we've had this since February of 2019. It's so sad. It's just floating in there. Maybe a little, oh, I think you got cork free. No, uh, there's, no, a, there's a piece of cork in there, but well, that's okay. It's fiber. We'll let it settle at the bottom and some people say they love real corks. Other people say they don't. And Other people this... say screw real corks. You can get cork rot. You can break off. And this is this uh, is how that happens. Hey, this does not diminish our uh, appreciation of getting this as a gift. Though. No, if anything, I'm like, could we have We're done gonna... anything differently? I don't think so. I mean, you can you can wet it. You can wet the cork we by turning it upside down. Done I don't think. This one was just that, like mm. it was compromised at the top. It, was it wasn't like. At the top, yeah. It was, as soon as you twisted it to pull it, it snapped, so. I, I could have maybe tried to rock, rock it. it. I'm more trying to always get the cork pop on uncorking. Well, what did you learn today? We should get this out of here as soon as possible. <laughs> yeah, so, okay. Well, nevertheless, Ooh. this is 92.8. 92.8, oh, that just killed me. It's a first, <laughs> it's a first for us. Single barrel, yeah, we've done what? Over 130 uncorkings and... And this is the first. And, and here we go. This has got some funk to it. Let's be Ooh, honest. Oh, it sure does. It's got some toasty notes in there, but there is it, some funk. Let's not be mistaken about smells that. Smells like it's vintage. It does have a vintage funk to it. Oh yeah, more toasty, marshmallowy yes, yes. kind of. Marshmallow, yeah, very good. Mm. Little, ch little cherry in but there. But honestly, like. Little cola. In the, uh, in the funk, I'm not getting mm. as much rye as I thought I was going to. Mm. It might just be the lower proof of it. Yeah, maybe. Okay. I'm ready. Are you? I'm ready. Oh, but then there is Cola. that rush. Root beer float. Yes. And and cherry. Cherry root beer float. But that little rush, did you feel a little rush of rye that kind of came A little. Away? Yeah. It's got a creaminess to it. I mean, it is a float. Not just cola, it's root beer. Mm -hmm. It's got that, that almost is, earthy, herbaly. I don't know. I've tasted a 10 year rye once before. Once before. And from Michter's? Yes. Okay. Yeah, from I thought you were just Michter's. saying like a 10 year rye. No, 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 no. From Michter's. And uh, yeah, there we go. Put this little hat on. Um, and I remember really liking it. We'll leave it on. Okay. Um, Stop doing anything. But it doesn't. I don't, I don't remember it tasting like this. This is uh, uh, darker, more savory. 
Less rye pop than I was expecting. Less rye pop. Still some. What is that flavor? I really, I'm equating it to a root beer mm -hmm, note, mm -hmm, but mm -hmm. I'm trying well, to figure out yeah. like, what is that? What do you call it? I don't know. It's sort of like a cherry Coke root beer float Hybrid, combo. Yeah. yeah. It's really interesting. Yeah. Very dark. Very dark. Well, I wanted to, to read this. Read it um, to us. This is from The Whiskey Wash, uh, thewhiskeywash.com. Love them. Great place uh, to get some bourbon and rye information. So this is from uh, Michter's Master of Maturation, Andrea Wilson. We've met her several times. Andrea, we were on a panel together with yep. Peggy. Mm -hmm. Great lady. She said, this is a quote, there's nothing quite like really good rye distillate that's been aged with thoughtful care for over a decade in a barrel that's been toasted and then charred in a warehouse that has been heat cycled to produce a deep, rich flavor profile, perfect for sipping. Okay, Ain't well, quite. I'm wondering if it's that like toasting then it's, charring it's, that's giving that like definitely, cola uh, syrupy type of. Toasty type vibes. Yeah, it's yeah, ri reminding me of the things I love wow. about like the Michter's Toasted Barrel mm -hmm. um, and the Elijah Craig Toasted Barrel, some of those things, but I think less rye spice the, and more of the ruby or cola things. The, um, the Michter's 10 is in this wheelhouse, but man, yeah, yeah, this, sure. is, this, this is definitely. Woo. Wow. Okay. Well, I, I would like for this to open up in the glass. Okay. For a wee bit. Um, I might try to fish out my cork. Pieces. Yeah. So we're gonna sieve Sarah's uh, whiskey and uh, give us some time to open up in the glass. But while we wait, I want to tell you about whiskeyambitions.com. It's our home on the internet for our Glen Cairns, our water glasses, our rocks glasses, our uh, sweatshirts like this Oh Bourbon Where Art Thou sweatshirt. Oh Bourbon Where Art Thou this month? It's Rye Month. <laughs> it's Rye Month. Also available on a t-shirt. Um, I'm wearing uh, a Drink More Bourbon vintage uh, t-shirt and hoodies and, and more at whiskeyambitions.com. You can become a patron at patreon.com slash it's bourbon night for as little as one buck a month and join our community. We do after the episode exclusives, patron only podcasts and more. All right, I'm gonna get about 10 minutes. We'll be back. And we're back. We've let it sit here. And while we're waiting, we did a little looking at the bottle. Um, right here on the neck tag, this is uh, 17A16. So we think it is from January of 2017. Yes. Uh, so it's 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 been it's been hanging out for a while. It's a, no wonder that the court broke. In my actually. mind, <laughs> right? In my mind, I'm like oh, that wasn't that long ago, and I'm like, no, that was four that years was four ago. Years ago, that was the year after we started this channel. Whoa! So the first full year of us being in existence, YouTube wise. This was. This was waiting for Aww. us. Aww, <laughs> sweet. Yeah, yeah. So we've let it sit. Uh huh. I'm Ooh, sorry, I'm just trying to avoid. It's... <laughs> I can't. She's so still on with the cork bits. I think I'm just gonna have to suck it up. And you, I think, I think so. It's more syrupy now. Do you want to trade? We will trade. Mm. More syrupy, right? A little more syrupy, yeah. Yeah, it's more. Ooh. Uh, I'm feeling this cola vibe still. Oh yeah, that's still there, but it, it's more inviting, more like it smells like it's gonna be really viscous and just awesome mouthfeel and all that jazz. I agree. Yeah, the toasted notes are really coming through on the nose, making it that, mm. I think what I would normally say with when I say toasted, like half toasted, Mictor's Toasted Oak or um, or Toasted Barrel and then the Elijah Craig is like, I'll say like burnt marshmallows yeah. and that type of thing. I think that's where I'm getting the root beer float, like the ice cream yeah, and that the, syrupy-ness of the creaminess beverage. Um, but it's, it's yeah. It's, almost marshmallow-like, but it's not. I love how this goes like Coke float palette, finish root beer. Mm -hmm. You don't even like root beer. I don't, but I don't mind this. No, I don't <laughs> mind this either. And there is a nice oakiness in there too. Mm -hmm. that I think really rounds it out on the finish. I love how it's I definitely get the wood tones. I, on the I definitely like this better after it's opened up. I think letting it sit in the glass for a little bit has definitely made it more um, approachable. Just kind of rounded it out, mm -hmm. you know. Mm -hmm. I really like this. It's very unique. I can say that about it. It's mm -hmm. not like most rye that we've had before. I will 100% agree with you there, Chad. Yeah. If I was a rye lover looking for a rye lover's product, I don't know how I would feel about this. But I think people who just enjoy whiskey or Bourbon. Mictors in general. Mictors in general. Like, this is this is nice. Mm -hmm. I like it. Yeah. I'm very glad we have a bottle. Yes, same. So, um, overall. Overall, okay, 160, limited. Proof. 
But the flavor and the experience, like for me, proof is not a thing oh, in this one. And I think what we've learned here in Rye Month, January yeah. 2021 for us, has been when it comes to rye, maybe proof doesn't matter as much as it does with bourbons. I agree. Uh, this one being just under 93 proof, I'm not missing that it's not a barrel proof. Same. I feel like I'm getting good flavors, good mouthfeel, like interesting, complex. I'm into it. it. Tastes like a vintage. Like It's fun. I really feel like this is from the 80s or something. It could be like if you put this for someone blind, I think this would just be throwing them for a total oh. of It would be fun though. This would be a fun one if you could do it blind. I might have to do a Hail Mary and say mm, Michter's? <laughs> like just like cuz Question mark? Because I would be like, well, it's not turkey, it's not buffalo trace, it's not, you know, heaven. It's more no. of a game of what is it's not. Yeah. Uh, Michter's? You're right. Whoa! Is there a question mark in the teleprompter? <laughs> yeah, exactly. But a great experience. Thank you again to the Lexington Bourbon Society members who were so kind to gift this to us. Um, we are not our, deserving. On our anniversary, we're not deserving. On our. Engagement party. Uh, engagement, yes. Yes. Engagement, anniversary. Whatever. Well, we said they gave us another bottle too and we said we would open that one on our anniversary. That, Maybe. That is a Blanton's Silver, which isn't made anymore. But that kind will do it for this one. Um, yeah. If you haven't subscribed to us already, you can click right up here to do so. There's suggestions of other videos down here. Thank you, Sarah. Thanks, Chad. Thank you, LBS. And until next time, drink more rye.